Now, like all good God-fearing white people, I am a fan of James Alsup, a Nazi. Let's watch a James Alsup video. James Alsup <laughs> is accusing Harvard of picking a radical bigot to give a graduation speech. And let me tell you guys, ooh, let me tell you, let me tell you, there is nothing on earth that gives me more pleasure than listening to actual, literal Nazis complain about other people being bigots. Nothing gives me strength like this. Who is James Alsup? James Alsup is a Nazi. Here, again, I... Uh, we can go to his Wikipedia page. Every, look, see? Blue, purple link. Hey! Right now, if you Google James Alsup, the top result from videos is my stream. <laughs> oh, that's pretty fucking cool. Um, but yeah, if you go to James Alsup, um, it's far-right political commentator described as a white supremacist, white nationalist, uh, a member of the American Identity Movement, a white nationalist and neo-Nazi organization, Unite the Right Rally, he was at Charlottesville. Yeah, 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 okay. He's a fucking, he's a fucking Nazi. Okay. Let's keep it. Let's do it. Try that search again on incognito mode. Yeah, good idea. Hey, let's do it. Give me that top secret shit. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Even in incognito mode. Without those biases, I'm still on top. Good. Let's do it. Let's do it. <gasps> Let's do it. <laughs> One of the bright spots of the Trump presidency is how easy some people are finding it to get a job. Even if you have no marketable skills, no ability to relate to people, and your only talent is for racial demagoguery, you too can find yourself on the good side of the unemployment statistics, such as... Yeah, isn't that one of uh, Trump's big talking points? Lowest unemployment rate in forever or whatever? This is a good thing, right? The case for Mr. Tim Wise. Tim is an anti-racist activist and... His own site, LOL. Tim Wise is among the most prominent anti-racist writers and educators in the United States. Is it is it cringy on your own site if you're a big activist to say you're among the most prominent of something? This doesn't seem that cringy to me, but okay. An author, or so he presents himself. When he's referenced in the media, Tim is always spoken about positively. USA Today refers to him as just an act. Ooh, ooh, now we see the beef. Look, read this. Activist Tim Wise said the comment reveals that Trump, Trump's either thinks Jews are Israelis or we Jews have our own prime minister. Tim Wise is a Jew. Oh, ooh! No wonder Alsup is mad. Ooh! Activist Salon treats him as an expert witness and hosts him glowingly for pieces wherein he talks about the crisis of whiteness and the collective nervous breakdown of white people. Isn't it funny okay. how if you spend your entire career bashing and inciting hatred against white people? Wait, he's inciting hatred against white people? I didn't know being critical of the institution that is whiteness is the same as white bashing. Um, but okay, Woo. way to bury, way to bury that lead, James Alsop. Oh, gotta. Mm. Got a fear monger right at the beginning there. The mainstream media will refer to you simply as an activist. But if you do what people like, say, Nick Fuentes, Patrick Casey, or myself have done and campaign for America first sensible policies that have been endorsed throughout American history. Ooh. Oh, my God. If you're if you're an activist, anti-racist activist who incites hatred against white people, people treat you fine. But if you're a not you, if you're ju if you're just a little old Nazi like me and Nick Fuentes, another Nazi by the way, who made jokes about the number of Jews who died at the Holocaust and said those numbers are probably not realistic, as in way less than six million Jews died in the Holocaust, as in Holocaust revisionism. Um, but if you're just a Nazi like me. People call you a racist. Uh, people call you a racist for supporting policies that America has endorsed throughout history. Cites an article from 1924 at a time when discrimination was legal against black people. Hmm. How could people... Ooh. How can people call me racist for supporting slavery? How? Americans loved slavery. Holy shit, that's the biggest donation I've ever fucking got. 
I'll wait for it to do the dingling so I can respond to it. I gotta respond. Guy, guy, like, guys, fuck. I try and live like a socialist, but when people toss money at me like this, I gotta... Ooh! Haley Foster with the $100. So glad Deadhead and I managed to recommend your videos. Been watching on stop for the past couple days. Watching you debug awful right movies. Nazis cut off and so needed. Plus, you're hilarious. Keep it up. The fuck? Get, 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 take that money back. I don't deserve that fucking money. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> <sighs> Thank you so much for the support, my friend. That is unbelievably generous of you. Um, and I really appreciate it. I'm also glad that head animation called me out. You know, it makes me, makes me feel good. Hey, thank you. Seriously. And to those of you in chat, because I just saw a comment. Listen to me, okay? And you listen good. I love all my fans equally. Not just the ones who give me money, okay? Seriously, thank you. That's that's really... That's really... Really... Generous. So what were we saying? Oh yeah, so so James Alsop unironically just did this guy's racist, but everyone maligns us because we're just widow old Nazis. Alright, let's keep it going. Without ever inciting hatred or violence of any kind. Never incited hatred or violence. Videos on YouTube, Nick Fuentes literally making jokes about the Holocaust and saying that it probably didn't happen or if it did not enough, like not enough Jews died for the nine, six million number. And you are again, and I don't, uh, guys, guys, they're Nazis. Okay, let's just, can we not focus on, because every single time he says some dumbass shit like that, I'm going to feel a need to pause the video and be like, hey, keep in mind, this is coming from a Nazi. Isn't the irony delicious? I don't need to do that every time. So whenever he does... For whenever he does this for the rest of the video, and if you want to know more about how Nick Fuentes and James Allsup are Nazis, and so as to avoid I being accused of, of slinging the fucking dirt onto them, please do your own research. If you can look at the histories of these people and not think they're Nazis, I invite you, please, look it over, message me on Discord, we can debate, and I can shit down your throat live, okay? They're Nazis. The only reason they don't call themselves that is for optics reasons. So from now on, Whenever, I'm just going to say, from a Nazi, if he, when he says something that justifies such a reaction, okay? That's the plan. Uh, the media calls you an evil bigot. People can say... Yeah, because you're a Nazi. A horrible, nasty, violent, truly bigoted things against white people. Oh, let's read that. You white people are on an endangered list, and unlike, say, the bald eagle or some exotic species of muskrat, you are not worth saving. In 40 years or so, maybe fewer, there won't be any more white people around, and that's a good thing. I agree with that statement. I can't wait for all of us to get bred out of existence so we're all a milky fucking brown. You may call that being a race traitor. I don't give a fuck about race. I don't care that I'm what. The only reason I give a fuck about me being white is so I can charm cops out of giving me speeding tickets, okay? That's it. That's the only extent to which I care about being white. If my children turn out milky brown, I don't give a fuck. It should be noted, by the way, that when this guy um, talks about, like, whiteness, he's not talking about white people. He talks about whiteness as an institutional concept. So, whiteness as an exclusionary social construct. But then, if people call them out for it, they're the ones who are deplatformed and kicked out of polite society. No, I could criticize those statements. I'm just not a Nazi. While the ones saying the nasty things get college speaking tours and massive book deals. Uh, I mean, there are right-leaning people who say nasty things and get college tours and book deals. Milo Yiannopoulos, fucking Steve Ben Shapiro. I like. What do you want me to say? Not that I'm saying what he said was nasty, mind you, but... It's like in school. If a school bully punches you and you peacefully defuse the situation, then the school expels you for, for being involved. Anyways, Tim Wise. Okay. This a very telling, by the way, to the fundamental juvenility of Nazism that he relates this experience of what he considers this to be like a cultural hypocrisy. He relates this to like being the being the guy who was picked on at school and got expelled for it, even though he didn't start the fight. It just it speaks to the juvenility that schoolyard dynamics are the lens through which he chooses to frame this particular antagonism. This bloated, scrawny armed, weird looking little guy who looks like a bizarro world Sargon of a cod is... He just looks like a fucking old white dude. What do, you, what do you want? Back in the news because... I'm not calling you ugly. I mean, James Alsup, you're not ugly. You're actually pretty handsome, which is unfortunate. I don't see any blue hair. Uh, I don't see any blonde hair or blue eyes, though. Better luck next time. My eyes are blue. My hair is a, a dark, a dirty blonde, one might say. You know, 
when the brown shirts start coming for us, irrespective of ideology, I know who's getting sent to the camps and who's going to live in their uh, in their the glorious Aryan ethno state. And it's not you, buddy. Because apparently he has a new gig. He's going to be a commencement speaker at Harvard University. Harvard has cool. tapped him to be the keynote speaker at the university's decade of dialogue. I recognize that font. Is that Breitbart? Campus lecturer Tim Wise. Oh no. James Alsup, a Breitbart link? Oh. Oh no. He wouldn't do that, would he? diversity event congratulations tim on your new gig and in celebration of this awesome achievement that took you years to work up to i thought it would be appropriate to look back on your history look back on some of your prior comments to give people a complete and holistic interpretation of what it is you do here tim nice um so again and i should note this we're good because we're going we're going into the paint with this one i don't know who the fuck tim wise is i have literally never heard this word word a uh, name before today okay i don't know the fuck i don't leave my house all right so i'm learning with you guys all right i don't have any secret trump cards hidden under my sleeve about how tim wise actually fucking goes to africa and personally breastfeeds the starving congo baby i don't like i don't have any shit up my sleeve okay i'm here learning with you so today we're gonna we're gonna together we're gonna watch james also up he's gonna probably tell us a lie or some at least a misleading statistic and then we're gonna have to correct him live on the fly this is skill that this is a skill everyone should learn okay this is very important being able to take down alt-right talking points live with no preparation okay because what they'll often catch you on is alt-righters will have like the sneaky stats that you couldn't prepare for oh well you say that the left is anti-racist and the right is racist take a look at this and then they'll throw out a bunch of like headline articles or um article headlines am i dyslexic um okay we're here to respond to that tactic specifically okay Tim Wise is an author and a writer in the same way that a guy with a SoundCloud account who makes lo-fi hip-hop beats with his friends is a record executive. Tim okay, so let's see. Tim Wise. Let's see how many books he's written. Wow. Given speeches at over 600 college campuses. Holy shit. This guy's prolific? And he only has a bachelor's in political science? God damn. Written, uh, written works. Uh, okay, so I'm seeing 10 publications. I don't know if any of these were co-written or if any of these are just like, like little thin pamphlet books, but whew, that's more than I ever wrote. So if he calls himself a writer, I think he actually has a right to do that. Tim's writing is primarily him hammering out halfway legible tweets, expressing his disdain for a certain racial group. He wrote, he wrote, um, he wrote. 10 books also i like i like how james also says this is disdain for a certain racial group when tim wise is critiquing white nationalists here Ooh, james james also maybe you're actually the anti you're actually the person who's racist against white people because i am a white and i do not identify with your white nationalist movement quit painting us quit painting us white folk with a broad brush my friend hammering out halfway legible tweets expressing his disdain for a certain racial group can you guess who it is if twitter is going to be banning people for inciting racial hatred as they say they do then tim wise should be at the top of the list for making a tweet saying that white nationalists should feel uncomfortable in society that's not a racial thing hey hey james also there are non-white white, white nationalists <laughs> like candace owens <laughs> tim pool would disagree of course but you've got people like jesse lee peterson and candace owens and plenty of others who are non-white white nationalists i bet that uh what the fuck is this guy's name i'm gonna i keep thinking tim pool tim wise yeah i bet tim wise would agree that these people also fall within the purview of people who should not feel comfortable in society not really racial hatred more a hatred of uh let's say very exclusionary and genocidal ideology when Milo Yiannopoulos was banned from Twitter, that was the beginning of the end of his career. When I <laughs> good, I was 
banned from Twitter. When I lost my account, I saw a significant drop in my engagement with my followers and viewers. Good. And neither- I got banned from Twitch, motherfuckers. I w- Two months of streaming, and I got banned from Twitch. You know what I got banned for? Getting really angry at Israel. Where were all the Nazis supporting me? Huh? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't want their support. Neither Milo nor myself never tweeted anything, anything as incendiary as what you're going to read from Tim Wise today. Tim uh, what, tweeted what anything, Flashing anything that up as real incendiary quick. as what... If white people elect Roy Moore in Alabama, no decent human being should ever spend another dime in that state unless it is with a black-owned business or the Birmingham Civil Rights Museum. It's time to destroy white Alabama like we should have 150 years ago. I agree. The Union Army didn't go nearly far enough. What you're going to read from Tim Wise today. Tim Wise, the hero of Harvard, college tour extraordinaire, is the topic of today's video. We'll talk about how censorship that is presented as neutral and designed to affect all parties is actually really just used against the political right and people the technocrats don't like. And we'll talk about the amazing corruption that goes on within the university system that makes it possible for a guy like Tim Wise, who basically just fed posts about ending white people, He's written 10 books and apparently had over 600 college uh, graduation speaking sessions. Uh, I don't think he's just active on Twitter, my dude. I think he actually does stuff. That makes it possible for him not to be investigated by the FBI, but instead... What the Whoa! Investigated by the FBI for saying that white nationalism is bad? Ooh! Ooh! Bitch boy Allsup. Trying to try, oh, narc also trying to get the feds called and the peeps he don't like. For him to be on stage at some of America's most powerful and hallowed universities. These are the people the media unquestioningly cites as experts, neutral observers of American race relations. These are the people they want you to think are the good guys. Most people never look into what they say and what they actually believe. That's what we're going to do here. And we'll only be Please, please. It was three and a half minutes in. Please. What he says publicly on his social media platforms. This isn't even counting what he says, surely, to people in private about what he really thinks. Guys, what do you think the odds are that in the entire course of this video, Tim Wise is not going to say a single thing that I find objectionable? Are you ready? Can you wait? I can't wait. Guys, if I become like a like a big public figure, I'm way the fuck more edgy than than any of the people Nazis like to go after now. Oh god, they're going to have to they're going to have a fucking field day with me. All of that and more ahead in today's video. But first, they can't stop you from getting flamed by Tim Wise, but they can keep you safe online. You need VPN protection from Virtual Shield. Did oh my god. Imagine unironically getting a sponsorship Did you know deal. Nice fault. Yeah, in with a Nazi. Okay, you can set yourself from these threats. Jesus phone device. Christ. Regardless of using the protection talking about tucker carlson a little bit about tim wise around six months ago when i did that video talking about tucker carlson's home being attacked by antifa we talked a little bit about attacked by antifa okay staging protests outside the door mm, eh, reaching a little bit there but even so good his background and we'll refresh on that today just for those who may have not seen that video it's important to know people's histories where they came from so you can understand the context of their political opinions now i'm going to read directly from tim wise's wikipedia page please There's do no editorializing none of my own opinion wait we're just looking at the wikipedia page that's what i'm watching this video for okay no fine no fine go go on Thing. I'm not adding anything to this. This is directly from Tim's Wikipedia, which I will link down below. Quote, Wise was born in Nashville, Tennessee, to my... We're, li we're literally just... Re okay. Michael Julius Wise and Lucinda Ann Wise. His paternal grandfather was Jewish, of Russian origin, while the... Mm, curious. Oh, please focus on him being Jewish. I don't think he's going to. Allsup isn't that stupid, but please... Oh, do it. The rest of his ancestry is Northern European, including some Scottish. Wise has said that when he was about 12 years old, his synagogue was attacked by white supremacists. Wise attended white supremacists. I love how he tone, he like the way, the way he, his tone of voice shifts kind of like he's talking about like movie villains, like something that's fantastical that you couldn't, you know, in the same way that I would say, oh yeah. And then Tucker Carlson's house was attacked by antifa whereas i bet you in this that the white supremacists actually did attack the synagogue 
the public schools in Nashville, graduating from Hillsborough High School in 1986. In high school, he was student, We're really reading the whole thing? student body vice okay. president and a member of one of the top high school debate teams in the U.S. Wise attended college at Tulane University in New Orleans and received his B.A. there with a major in political science and a minor in Latin American studies. While a student, he was a leader in a campus anti-apartheid movement, which sought to force Tulane to divest from companies still doing business with the government of South Africa. Tim was cool. born in Nashville, Tennessee, went to public schools his whole life, and attended Tulane University, which is not an Ivy League elite school. Okay. These are not the typical hallmarks of an elite upbringing, but throughout his career, Tim has successfully used his image as a Southern white man, just like you, to further his perceived credibility on racial issues. It's worth okay. noting that his entire profession professional career after graduating college has been spent doing anti-racist activism and writing. I don't get the impression from his Wikipedia page that he's ever had a real job or interacted with the regular working class white people he seems to hate so much. He's what the fuck is he going on about? He he he's clearly doing fine. What does any of this have to do with anything? He Sure we can go okay. Tim Wise. Does it matter if he's had a job? What? Okay. Career. Okay, let's find it. Work campaigning against David Duke, youth coordinator, associate director, doing lectures, served as an advisor to the Fisk University. What the fuck is he talking about? He's had a ton of jobs. What, what do you mean? He's... he's, he's, he's he, what? I don't think a person's validity is determined by them being on the payroll of an institution, but Tim Wise clearly has done work. Okay. Sure. He's been in the anti-racist activist and writer circle for years now, ever since he graduated from university, which, as we know, has very few white people. And the white people it does have tend to be of elite or upper middle class upbringing. For a man with such okay. a sheltered perspective, Tim has some very strong views... Wait, he has a sheltered perspective? I thought James Alsop just said that he didn't have the typical um, early life of an elite. He went to public education, then went to like a middle-of-the-line university. Is he sheltered? It seems like he actually engages very frequently with social issues. Doesn't that leave a person to feel to not be sheltered? about white people, men, and Christians, and especially white Christian American men. You want to laugh because it's crazy, but it's disturbing knowing that people like this have actual power in our society. People like what? A person who went to public education, went to a university, worked as an activist, got jobs with a bunch of different activists, nonprofit, and such and such organizations. Is, it, is that scary? Is that is that scary? Am I scared? Okay, I'm I'm not scared. Oh, okay, this is weird. And it's impossible to describe Tim's feelings as anything other than pure, visceral, disgusting racial hatred. In 2012, oh. Tim tweeted that Christians deserved to be mocked viciously and run out of the public square. Okay. Well, he said people who believe in a god of hell slash damnation deserve to be mocked viciously and run out of a public square. Um, don't, uh, don't, don't, uh, Muslims also believe that? I think Jews don't believe in hell, but honestly, who the fuck knows? A thousand different people can get a thousand and one different interpretations of their sacred text. You'll see this mob mentality language come to prominence, especially after the 2016 election. Is that a mob, mob mentality language? He just says that people who do blank deserve to be, I guess, socially ostracized? Yeah, mocked viciously, run out of public square. That's social ostracization, right? Is that a mob mentality? He's not even talking about Christians here. These elite activist types are obsessed with pushing people they disagree with. Wait, elite? I, I thought he just said he wasn't an elite. James, also, maybe my IQ is too low. Maybe it's that Maybe it's that Polish blood in me, that swarthy um, Eastern European Slav blood. That means my skull shape doesn't have the right indentations to ensure maximum fucking neuron flow. Um, I'm not really following the point that James Alsop is laboriously trying to arrive at. It seems like he's contradicting himself constantly here. Um, he calls this guy uh, elite and out of touch, but also acknowledges that he had an, a, a, a pretty standard, like lower to middle class upbringing with public education and then immediately got working as an activist, which is a very socially engaged job. Um, I, uh... With to the fringes of society. They know they can't win the debate, 
Instead, they want to see you pushed out of your job, isolated from your family, you and your children starved and dead. Wow. You get triggered real easily, don't you, James Olsup? Jesus Christ. So saying that social so saying that white nationalists and white supremacists and such should be socially ostracized is saying that you want white children dead? Oof. I don't know. I just I don't get I don't get offended that easily. Um But uh yeah, I like the juxtaposition here too. James also saying that they can't win the debate. So they what debate? The debate with Nazis like you? It doesn't matter winning the debate isn't how you stop Nazis from taking over society. You have to use other methods to ensure that Nazis don't take over society. Again, back in the rise of Hitler and the Nazi party, back in the late 20s and early 30s in Germany, there were a whole bunch of fucking liberals in, in, in the, um, uh, uh, what was the, the Weimar Republic, in the democratic German state, who uh, did a whole lot of cutesy liberal fucking satire at crazy old Adolf Hitler. Ha ha, Hitler, more like Schittler over there, um, it didn't, ugh, it didn't really work. Uh, it turns out the debate winning isn't actually, it's almost as though the impetus to engage in debate is just a smokescreen that white nationalists throw up to prevent people from focusing on the real strategies which prevent the rise of Nazism, which is, of course, bashing. Think that's an exaggeration? Well, let's let Tim do the talking. On Facebook in 2015, Tim argued that Christians shouldn't just be run out of the public square. No, his beliefs had advanced. They should be put in prison for their beliefs. Quote, if you're basing your morality on a fairy tale written thousands of years ago, you deserve to be locked up, detained, for your utter inability to deal with reality. No, we are not obligated to indulge your irrationality in the name of your religious freedom, but we will provide you with a very comfortable room, against which walls you may hurl yourself hourly if you choose. Knock yourself out. No, seriously, knock yourself out completely for weeks at a time. I'm sort of kidding, but not by much. We at the end there, he says he's kidding. Why you get so triggered easily? Why you get triggered so fucking easily, James Alsop? I thought you were supposed to be a thick-skinned fucking internet. Just an internet keyboard warrior. Why are you getting mad so easily? He clearly says it's a joke. I mean, that just seems like an edgy take to me. Like, religious people are shit and they should all be locked up. I agree with the religious people are shit. I'm an anarchist, so I don't suggest that my political opponent should be locked up, but... We can only speculate whether he would offer those same padded rooms to followers of the Quran or the Talmud. In Wait, what? Wait, he specifically says, if you're basing your morality on a fairy tale written thousands of years ago, he never once specifies Christianity. This would absolutely include followers of Islam and Jewish people. Th like, this is clear cut out completely for weeks at a time i'm sort of kidding but not by much we can only speculate whether he would offer those same padded rooms to followers of the quran or the talmud in 2017 tim wise chimed in with the following quote if white people elect roy moore in we alabama saw this no decent human being should ever spend another dime in that state we already Unless saw this one you already you already threw this one up why are you repeating material i thought this guy had a lifetime of um of uh, uh misappro like a uh, you know uh, of hatred and anti-white bigotry for you to pull from and you're reusing tweets a black owned business or the birmingham civil rights museum if more wins it's time to destroy white alabama like we should have 150 years ago take a moment to appreciate the fact that tim wise is are there people who unironically want to debate me right now are there seriously people in chat who are gunning for me you realize i can't be stopped right well please let's finish the video then we'll see where we're at established and respected author and activist is saying that all white Alabamans should have been killed 150 years ago. Whoa! James Alsup. Nobody said that all white Alabamans should be killed. They say that white Alabama should have been destroyed back during the Civil War. I think that's reasonable. The Civil War, I mean, after all, the Confederacy, that wasn't America. That was a traitorous union of rebellious states that took arms against the glorious, legitimate um, United States of America. That republic we look to, de we look to defend. I have, nothing, I have nothing wrong with marching down into Alabama 150 years ago. As, uh, who is the big general? Oh, God, my big history is bad. 
Come on, the Union General. You all know who I'm fucking talking about. What? Grant. Yeah, Grant. Thank you. Grant's who I'm talking about. Grant and Sherman? Sherman? We're going Sherman? Fine, Sherman. Whatever. Both of them tag-teaming Alabama? I'd be fine with it. Reparations... Oh, not reparations. Sorry. Um, the Reconstruction failed. Despite the fact that, you know, less than 3% of Southerners ever owned a slave... Ooh. Whoa! But 100% of Southerners participated in a rebellion against the United States of America to defend slavery. I love it when Nazis bring this talking point out, like, you say the Confederacy wanted to defend slavery. Only a small percentage of Southerners ever owned slaves. Okay, then, then, then why did they rebel? Why did they fight and die to defend their right to own slaves? Why? Why'd they do that then? Why didn't the 97% of Southerners who didn't own slaves go, actually, fuck this! And, uh, and let slavery be abolished. Whew. It's almost as though cultural and social acceptance of slavery and propping up the institutions which reinforce slavery go a little bit beyond the actual number of people who personally own slaves. It doesn't really matter to Tim. Yeah, if somebody on the right had proposed what Tim is proposing here, which can only accurately be described as race war... What?! Race war? 150 years ago, it was white Union soldiers fighting white Confederate soldiers. There were a, there were a couple divisions of black so of freed slaves who joined up with the Union, I think. But that would hardly be qualified as a race war. More of a civil war? As the result of a special Senate election... 32% of families owned slaves in the South during 1860. Here, wait, let's look that up. Five Myths About Slavery from History.com There were Irish slaves in the American colonies. South seceded over the issue of state. Yeah, okay, I know that one's bullshit. Only a small percentage of Southerners owned slaves. Do 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 do. Ah, oh, yes, the 19... Ah, oh, just what you said. The 1960 census shows that in states that would soon secede from the Union, an average of more than 32% of white families owned slaves. Ooh! 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 Embarrassing! Ooh, how did how did Nazi James Alsop fall himself fall one eleventh of the actual percentage point uh, uh, number? Ooh. The world may never know. That person would be justifiably shunned and probably investigated, if not just arrested. Let's go back to the beginning of this point. As the result of a special Senate election, that person would be justifiably shunned and probably investigated, if not just arrested. But when what? I don't understand the point he's making. If somebody did the opposite, what? We're like, if there was a black senator, and if the black people voted for it, then the white people should destroy black Alabama? Oh, I wonder if there's a broader historical and social context here that makes those two instances incomparable. I think he recognizes that the two are incomparable, which is why he didn't even bother to describe the, um, <laughs> the, the alternate scenario he's referring to here, because he knew it would sound preposterous. Tim does it, he gets a 600 college speaking tour and a spot at Harvard. This post doesn't have a year, but I would guess it's from 2014 or 2015. Tim says the following, quote, As long as white police continue to kill black men without consequence, white people's lives should be disrupted. Our traffic, our neighborhoods, our schools, our workplaces, our houses of worship, our sleep. No more life as normal for anyone until there is justice. This gear shift has no neutral. Yeah, okay. I agree with that statement. Y yeah. Yeah. No justice, no peace. You know how it be. There's inequality if one person finds themselves in shackles, so too are we all chained. Yeah, absolutely. Again, take a moment to acknowledge the fact that Tim is calling for unending harassment of all white people, including white children at school. <laughs> God damn. The fucking pearl clutching. Uh, keep in mind, Tim Pool, Tim Wise, sorry. Tim Wise is advocating for harassment of all white people, even little white babies. Tim Wise wants you to sneak into hospitals and pick up the small white babies from the carriages and shake the babies until they stop being white. And, uh, what? 
and this isn't harassment this is agitation as like to call to call this harassment would be like saying that doing a protest that blocks the road you're harassing every single person who's tra who's in the traffic jam that's not how harassment works harassment is deliberate direct and targeted um agitation protesting is not and for white people to be harassed in their sleep at their homes and do you think james also my good friend who's unironically giving me whoa wh where is this face from it's the dreamworks face James Alsup, I didn't know you had it in you. Oh, James Alsup, you talented, talented man. Oh God, yes. Whew. So, as so as James Alsup pictured here, um, <laughs> um, was saying, um, uh, Tim Wise is advocating that here. Tim Wise is advocating that um that that white people should be harassed in their sleep um here's a question james also do you think when he says that he means that you should commit a crime and break into white people's homes and like shake them out of their sleep and then run out giggling or do you think he meant that protesting should continue into the night and more in a broad sort of metaphorical allegorical sense that we shouldn't respect um, white people's desire for stability and civility when in, in the face of such massive institutional oppression. Um, I don't know. Maybe up to personal interpretation. Maybe I'm a little bit more charitable to him. After all, I don't know. Uh, I don't really care that he's Jewish. This guy's hailed by the media as a peaceful activist, just an activist and writer. I go out there and say, hey, let's return our immigration laws to what they were. Just so you guys know, by the way, the um, the screen image that he has back here is another alt white alt right dog whistle. Um, it's it's the Peppo family, the like a Peppo dog and a Peppo child and a Peppo boy and a Peppo girl who are looking at each other lovingly. And it says they took this from us. It's an anti-Semitic dog whistle um, that like the like the Jewish puppet masters atop media stole the white the the white family to which you were entitled it's called apu well some people call him peppo okay so that's what i call him whatever the case is um it's a it's it's a it's an anti-semitic dog whistle they're saying that jewish people are responsible for taking away the family life that white people are entitled to before 1965 and adjournos are beating down my door and harassing my family over it coming up what, what activist and writer i go out there and say hey let's return our immigration laws to what they were before 1965 and adjournos are beating down my door and harassing my family over it yeah because you're a nazi you deserve all of the harassment you get and more i would go so far as to say that you have perhaps not experienced enough harassment because you're still on the internet um <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say. Yeah, one person is racist and one person is not. So one person gets shit on and one person doesn't. And again, James Alsup is aware of this fact. He knows there's a reason why James Alsup isn't sharing his actual views. He says, oh, I just want to return American immigration law to a previous state. His actual views, which are to prevent brown people from entering the country and to deport brown people that are already in the country, to systemically ostracize non-white and non-Christian people within this country. Um, he doesn't express his actual views because, um, because that wouldn't make him look as good, would it? <laughs> Hyena, don't give me your fucking minimum wage pay. Ugh. God damn it. We live in clown world. Remember, ah! the journos are beating down my door and harassing my family over it. We live in clown world. It's just a meme, guys. It's just a meme. I don't know why Nazis keep saying clown world. It's not a Nazi thing. It's just a meme, guys. Ignore the comments underneath the clown world videos. Ignore the, all the anti-Semitism and anti- fucking uh, racial minority speech ignore the fact that nazis use this habitually ignore the fact that it came from 4chan and 8chan's poll board ignore the fact that they talk about all the ways in which it symbolically represents their desire <gasps> to indicate the jewish control of the media jewish control of society and they want to take the rainbow back from the cage ignore all that it's just a meme okay it's just a funny fog man a funny frog man with rainbow wig it's not a big deal don't worry about it okay hong kong remember julian von abel the physics prodigy that found himself wait what was that 
We live in clown world. Glitch? Remember Julian Von Abel, the physics prodigy that... Oh, uh, sorry. I think my eyes just fucking blurred. I was... Woo! Like, my fucking vision just blurred out. Jesus Christ. Found himself on the receiving end of a media social justice inquisition because he made factually accurate statements about the history of Western civilization. Well... What factually accurate statements? I like that. Again, again, Nazis always lie. A Nazi will never be open with their beliefs until it's too late. Okay? Listen to how he talks about this. Oh, yeah, my friend was harassed for making just some factual statements about the history of Western... So what statements? Can you share those statements with us, James Alsop? I would be interested in hearing the exact statements that they made. Well, Tim was in on that one, too. This is what he said. Quote, Time to wreck this little blank. The irony of his rant is that once we make his ass famous for this, he will never accomplish anything. Let's... Let's actually watch the video. Let's watch what James Alsop describes as making factual statements about the history of Western civilization. Bishop, Bishop Talbert Swam. Okay. Oh, apparently they're with Fox News. That's cool. Oh, God, get Tim Pull out of my fucking face. Um... The molding of white supremacists begins to break. Oh, it's Swan. Still up? Okay, so where's the actual video? Where's the original video? Hold on. White Columbia U student to non-white students. Damn, who is this person? On the receiving end of a media social justice inquisition because he made facts over it. We live in clown world. Remember Julian Von Abel, the physics... Julian Von Abel. Julian Von Abel. Ah, here we go. We built the modern world. We built the modern world. All right, let's listen, okay? We built the modern world. 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 Europeans, Europeans built the modern world. Europeans built the modern world. We invented science and industry. We invented science and industry. We invented science and industry. We invented. Wow, this guy comes off unhinged. We invented science and industry. And you want to tell us to stop because oh my god, we're so bad. And you want us to tell us to stop because oh my god, we're so bad. We invented the modern world. We invented the modern world. I feel you. Oh, You're no, so dumb. Our life we invented the modern world. You fucking degenerate. We saved Let billions me. of people from starvation. <laughs> You we built modern civilization. Built modern civilization. White people are the best thing that ever happened to the world. White people are the best thing that ever happened to the world. We are so amazing. I love myself. We are so amazing. I love myself. And I love white people. I love white people. He love white people. Fuck yeah, white people. Fuck yeah, white men. Fuck yeah, white people. Fuck yeah, white men. White men. We did everything. We, white men, we did everything. Look, I don't hate other people. I just love my oh white men. God. I just love white men. Oh I don't hate other people. I just love white men. I just love white men. I can think of a couple reasons why, um, why this person may have seen a fair share of harassment. Um... So this guy was apparently yeah, a physics student. Heated argument with a group of students. And the uh, comments here are completely pro him, by the way. No lies. Lies not detected. I love this guy. He is 100% right. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's cool. That's fun. Um, yeah, I can see why that guy maybe got a little bit of blowback from that one. Whites are the best. Whites invented everything. Whites built modern civilization. Whites invented science. And it yeah, I can think historians and anthropologists might disagree a little bit with some of these statements here 
Still can't help but feel bad for this autistic motherfucker? Nah, don't feel bad for him. Seriously, don't feel bad for him. His prodigy that found himself on the receiving end of a... Wait, a prodigy? Von Abel, the physics prodigy that found... Wait, he's a prodigy? Well, hold on. I didn't know he was a prodigy. Shut up. SHUT UP! Okay, this is boring. I don't care. Julian von Abel began developing new theories of physics in the 8th grade? That reads like bullshit to me. This sounds like, uh, that sounds like some green text, sh you know, like some, Al and then the kid raised his name, uh, raised his hand, his name, Albert Einstein. I'm not saying kids can't be prodigies, but. So let's see. He's got this book, which has zero reviews, and it came out in 2017. As a student in high, a student in high school, he published a book describing his multiverse hypothesis Physics Reforged. Okay, this sounds a little bit LARPy to me. Um, listen, okay, guys, I'm going to admit I'm a social science student. I'm not qualified to determine the veracity of claims made by physicists. However, this does read to me like somebody who's not a prodigy, but somebody who instead has their head firmed right up their own ass. Um, uh, self-publication. Ah, nice, nice, nice. Okay, yeah, okay. All right, maybe not, maybe not so much a prodigy. Maybe a, maybe a bright kid who's, uh, <laughs> who has his head firmly rooted up his own ass. Mm, look, we stand with Julian von Abel from Def Defend Europa, a Nazi website. Yeah, and here's the Tim Wise quote. Oof. Guys, let me tell you, okay? If I ever do some really dumbass shit and I get start getting identity Europa defending me, whoo! A dark hour. A dark hour to be sure. Found himself on the receiving end of a media social justice inquisition because he made factually accurate statements about the history of Western civilization. Well, he cannot again. Again, he cannot do it. He can't be like because he said that white people invented everyone, everything, and or the birth of like he can't. He can't do that. He has to because he made some factual statements. I don't do this. I'm not dishonest. If I've got a friend in hot shit, I'm not gonna like listen. I got banned from Twitch for saying that the United States should carpet bomb Israel rather than giving them more weapons, okay? I don't say like, oh, why'd you get banned from Twitch? Uh, because I made some factually correct statements about the Middle East. I don't, no. Stand by your edgy as fuck beliefs, James Alsa. Please. Stand with them. Hold that flag up. The, the Nazi flag in your case. Mine would be, I don't know, the red and black one. Not the Nazi one. The Nazi one is also red and black. Well, Tim was in on that one, too. This is what he said. Quote, time to wreck this little blank. The irony of his rant is that once we make his ass famous for this, he will never accomplish anything. His white maleness nonwithstanding. Columbia should expel him. His future should be bleak. Good luck, Chip. End quote. Julian Von Abel was smarter as a 13-year-old than Tim Wise ever has been or ever will be. For one, unsubstantiated. For two... Irrelevant? Do you think that intelligence should mean people get to get away with scot free for being Nazis? Well, the writing of Julian's book, Physics Reforged, required more intellect and more intelligence than whatever Tim's books were. Let's let's look at it, okay? Wait, hold on. Now going over this. I don't know how to spell this. <laughs> ha! Ha! Listen, I'm distracted, okay? All right. Physics Reforged, the new theory on parallel universes. Okay? 37 customer reviews, 4.5. Just so you know, publishing a book doesn't mean that you're respected academically. That tends to 
come across in the form of uh, academic journals. Let's uh, wait. I bet if we look at the reviews, they'll all be like, we stand with Julian and his excellent theories on Western civilization. Hmm. Fascinating. When did the Julian thing happen? What was it? Was it December 9th? When was it? Give me the actual fucking time. We built the modern world. We built the modern world. Give me the, give me the actual time. Jesus Christ. Yeah, the video was uploaded December 11th, which means it happened before it. It sure would be a coincidence if all this uh, this hubbubaloo about his shit um, uh, um, occurred right before he got a bunch of positive reviews on his book. Come on, give me the actual... Why is this so hard? I just want to know when the fucking incident was. I literally scrolled past it. It said it right there. Yep, there we go. Right here. In Defend Europa, of all places. Allegedly took place in the early morning of Sunday, December 9th. Cool! Okay, so on December 9th, that's when this shit went down. When was this book published? When was it published? 2015. Mm! Mm! Fasc mm. Fascinating. So this was published in 2015, and then the day of a bevel of fantastic, oh, from a whole bunch of no-name uh, reviewers with no profile pictures, giving five stars, saying that it's a great book, while giving absolutely no descriptions whatsoever of its contents. Buy copies for all your friends and family? That's an interesting thing to say. About a book that's about a theory of parallel universes? That's a str- mm, I don't know. That seems kind of like an esoteric thing to read. December 9th, December 9th. Oh, here we go. Here's an actual one from 2016. That's a real one. This is a real one. And then here's another one from December 9th, but it's a negative review. So probably the- probably the, the contrary. Here, wait. Let's sort by time. Most recent. So here- uh, blank, 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 blank. So this is all after the fact. December 18th, 11th, 15th, 13th. And here we go. The closer we get to December 9th, the more we get the no-name reviewers who just give like, it's great, five stars. This is why you should never, ever, 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 ever feel bad for Nazis uh, uh, when they get called out on their shit online. Because Nazis shill hella fucking hard for their comrades. Nazis will be... You You could... Listen. If I went... If, listen. Wipe the slate clean, okay? I'm not a leftist anymore. I'm just a random white dude, okay? If I went to local fucking UCLA or something, and I got drunk and stumbled around, and uh, the people are recording me on their phones, and they're like, dude, what's your problem? And I'm like, well, my problem is all the fucking black people! There are black people everywhere. And um, and that got like filmed and uploaded and turned to like a big fucking thing. Um, and I had in the past written, I had like a Patreon for like my DeviantArt, My Little Pony uh, fanfic series. I guarantee you, 
in under 24 hours, that be some fucking $600 a month Patreon shit right there. They stand hella fucking hard for their, uh, uh, for their, um, for their supporters. So never feel bad, okay? Never feel bad. What, what, white like you, I'm a fellow white, whatever his book was called. Yeah, that's just like a screed, a copy paste of all your dumb tweets over a couple of years, Tim. Julian? Wait, what? What are we doing? His books were what, what, white like you, I'm a fellow white, whatever his book. Oh, we're talking, we're talking about how the kid is a genius or something. Do you think James Alsop read this book? Because I don't think James Alsop read the book from the, from the, the kid book was called yeah that's just like a screed a copy paste of all your dumb tweets over a couple of years tim julian is what 17 18 years old and he's smarter than you'll ever be tim wise on guns quote okay everyone has fantasies some of mine involve ripping guns from the hands of pathetic bubbas who think firepower equals manhood i want to rip their guns from them in front of their children while they scream and wail about their freedoms interesting something to do with his psychology and pathological need to embarrass people in front of their, in front of their families i don't know yeah that's social ostracization i guarantee you listen nothing would get me harder than arguing with a nazi online knowing that their family is watching the shit show on a live stream Ooh, that get me so fucking hard so every time oh god that'd be such good material so every time the person i'm arguing with fucks up i can be like ooh. You might want to put on a stronger face for your kids, you know? You're supposed to be a role model for them. Best not to embarrass yourself publicly like this. Oh, God, I could get them so fucking mad. Oh, that'd be... <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Also, I don't disagree with this. Yeah, uh, this Tim Wise tweet. Yeah, it's good. It's cool. Weird pathology there. Tim Wise on education, quote, Rich white parents are the ones whose kids are the least qualified, over-entitled, and unworthy of admission. Almost always. Yeah. Yes. That. Yeah, that's true. Money influences your ability to get into universities, and white fucking p poofy white families are usually the ones who are able to pay their kids way into school. There are tons of dumbass fucking alumni white boys who uh, got into Ivy League universities because their daddy and granddaddy got in and they have like a $40 million family um, worth. Never mind the fact that every single study of testing statistics shows otherwise. And then we have this. Are there studies of testing statistics that extraordinarily privileged white boys? do better on average on their testing statistics than people who don't have the benefit of wealth getting them into universities. I like that little, that cute, ooh, that cute little conflation right there. James Alsup was originally talking about Tim Wise saying that uber wealthy white boys um, are tend to be uh, overprivileged and um, perform poorly because they got bought their way into university. And then sneaky little also over here made it about the average testing rates of people based on uh, uh based on their race ooh, very ooh very sneaky well no I'll, well, uh, I'll probably debate when i'm done with this video i'm feeling pretty fired up yeah i'll have a good time with it haven't lost the debate yet it's gem from little tim quote a good little tim we have to we have to know his height tim wise height no? No? All right. Well, it was worth a shot. Wait. James? What's <laughs> up? Hey. No? Let it be known that I'm six foot two, okay? I don't want anyone calling me Little Vosh. <laughs> Good society is one where white nationalists are afraid. You already used this tweet! I thought you had a lifetime of content to go over. This is the second time you re you've reused content from earlier in the video to go outside where nazis are always wondering is today the day they come for me they come for me and an even better day is the day when the answer to that question is yes yes sweetie enjoy it it's all downhill from here tim wise and many on the left want a society i'm fine with that id where everyone they describe as a white nationalist is afraid to leave their homes for fear of being violently attacked for yes yeah yeah yes yeah Yes? Nazis are monsters. Nazis, they're, you're, the entire political ideology of a Nazi, of a white supremacist, orients around them trying to acquire the power necessary to enact genocide, war, and deportation. 
They have to be socially ostracized because it's the only way of keeping them from those positions. For the record, all you have to do to be called a white nationalist these days is disagree with Tim's vitriolic anti-white hatred. And boom, you'll be labeled a white nationalist. Tim, Really? I bet if I go on Twitter right now and I start a beef with Tim Wise, not a single person, not a single person is going to call me a white In fact, this is for the stream, okay? This is for the content. Okay. Now let's see. Let's see if. <laughs> now let's see how many people call me a white supremacist in the um in the uh, in the responses to that. Tim is openly fantasizing about a situation where white people are afraid to leave their homes, afraid to take their families outside for fear of violence being done to them. Or as he cutely says, haha, people coming for them. Coming to what? Coming to mow the lawn and drop off a case of beer? Or coming to hurt them, Tim? What did you mean? This Ooh. You're looking you're looking into this one pretty hard, James Alsop. I wonder if you scrutinize the content of your alt-right buddies' tweets quite as much. Do you think, uh, do you think James also believes in a peaceful ethnostate? This is a common personality trait you'll see from many of these small-souled, physically small bug men on the political left. Wait, what? That was a, wait, what? It's a beer or coming to hurt them, Tim. What did you mean? This is a common personality trait you'll see from many of these small-souled, physically small bug men. Small-souled, physically small bug men? First of all, you, you're a Nazi. You can't say other people don't have heart. For two, I couldn't find out his height for three bug men? Is that an anti-Semitic thing? I, I don't know. And bug men anti-Semitic. New anti-Semitism. Bug? No. Okay. Doesn't look like it's anything. Got it? You, you never know! Bugmen equals Jews? I don't fucking know. It's probably, I don't know. <laughs> on the political left. They'll talk a big game on Twitter, but they don't expound upon specifically and explicitly what they want to see happen. You can... You mean, like, James also, do you want to make a video detailing the specific political and practical policies that you're interested in implementing? I'd be interested in hearing you talk about that. I feel like Tim uh, Tim Wise is actually very upfront with the things he believes. You couldn't really accuse him of being dishonest, uh, whereas you constantly dance around your political opinions. Visualize him now, sitting on his couch, impotently getting off to his... A near tax 76. I've been seeing you saying some dumb shit down there in chat, but you just... You've piqued my interest. All right, you're up first when this video is done, okay? What are we debating about? come up with the topic his sick twisted little fantasy chittering away as he fantasizes about the day where he can one day show up outside a white family's house and ambush them do violence to them unprovoked because he doesn't like their politics that yeah i mean if the politics are of them being a nazi then it wouldn't be unprovoked you're engaging in self-defense at that point That'll be the day, right, Tim? At the same time, while he's getting off in this fantasy, he's such a coward that he won't admit what it is he really means. I cannot imagine being this pathetic. I cannot imagine being... Wait, what do you mean, what does he really mean? He's very explicit with his views. He doesn't engage very much in, um, in satirical hyperbole. I feel like he's being quite clear about what he believes. Do you have reading comprehension problems? I can interpret Tim Wise's views pretty accurately. Bugman is on the Urban Dictionary. Boomin. Typical big left-leaning city dweller, obsessed with consumerism, lining to... Okay, so this is a very boring description. So a left-leaning consumerist? Okay, I didn't know that Tim Wise had engaged in any overtly consumerist behavior, but okay. This impotent. Tim Wise is the kind of guy that would brag his wife's boyfriend could totally kick your ass. Gotta throw them all in there, huh? 
The right is getting better at comedy. And the left is getting scared. Also, everyone's cucks. Tim was allowed to tweet this clear incitement of- Wait, read the second definition? Can I just- can I live- Rootless, lifeless, metropolitan drones who have a permanent thousand yard stare. This is the same as the first one! And then a homosexual who has contracted HIV. Okay, well this is like, this is clearly a different. I don't think that James Allsup is using it in this context. This second definition is the same as the first one. It's just more succinct. Don't waste my time. Violence. I mean, what else can you call this besides inciting violence? He was allowed to tweet that with no consequence. That's a shame because a direct call to violence like this is should have been a slam dunk tweet for Twitter to remove as an example of them playing both sides and of them acting fairly with their policies against violence. Well, I guess they don't want to play fair between Nazis and, and anti Nazis. I guess they don't really want to. I guess they don't want to be fair. They actually want to be biased towards the non-Nazis. ...and their community standards or what have you. But no, you'll get banned for posting a Hulk Hogan groiper, but this is allowed to stay up to this what day. What is a Hulk... Hulk Hogan groiper? Ah. Ah, yes. Ah, yes, I remember. The Hulk Hogan picture where he is... Ah, uh, groiper, see on the hat. Where he's, uh, where he has a shirt, where the centerpiece, the shirt is torn out, but it would say the N-word if it didn't. Look. Blank G. Blank E R. See? And this is what a G would look like? See? This would be the underswoop of the G? Yeah, it's it's because it's, it's because it's a Nazi dog whistle. That's why this would get banned. It's very simple. It's very, it's very easy. Day. Tim Wise is a violent, hateful, anti-white, anti-Christian bigot that has called for violence against white Americans and the forcible imprisonment of Christians. For all the talk they do about running... This is some hard fucking pearl clutching. ...people out of polite society, I don't see how a guy like Tim Wise is an acceptable choice to be a speaker at over 600 colleges and at a university as prestigious as Harvard. Tim has no talents or abilities. He hasn't accomplished anything. He quite literally posts on Twitter... Dude, you're a YouTuber. You're a YouTuber. He speaks... He's been invited... Wait, what do you mean? He's had jobs his entire life. What do you mean he's done nothing? This is so weird. As again, because if if you're on the... If you're a reactionary like James Alsop is, you can't focus on the critical issue. It has to be they're bad for their policies and also they're a degenerate. They're a cuck. They they think their bo their wife's boyfriend could beat you up. They ha do no work. They're stupid. They're ugly. They're a bug man. They have to get like the total fucking... The, 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 the universal condemnation because again in the mind of a nazi it's important to remember that the political differences that divide us are not these ephemeral socially oriented distinctions which can be corrected through education no you're with us or you're against us there's no room for sociological interpretation here it has to be a war I'm getting ratioed right now on, on Twitter. I'm hashtag canceled. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh man <laughs> okay about his impotent sick weird violent fantasies against white people and that's it He's slapped a couple books together in the same vein as his Twitter feed, and according to the left and academia, he's a well-respected expert on race relations. Anyone yeah. on the political right using his rhetoric, but talking about Muslims or Jewish people, they would be banned from every social media platform. Yeah, it turns out there's a difference between Muslims, Jewish people, and white supremacists. Jewish people, Muslim people, 
white supremacists. I just, hmm. Hmm. St hmm. Strange. Ooh, really gives me, ooh, just a big think. Ooh, just a big think bubble platform in a heartbeat they would probably find themselves under fbi investigation if not imprisonment as well yet tim wise is there on the podium pushing vitriolic anti-white this is boring and He's being just talking people about like myself now. nick fuentes faith goldie patrick casey and oh more nazis lander and lie about people like myself nick fuentes faith goldie patrick casey and even sargon of akkad who <laughs> by the way i think is doing great work in the uk elections <laughs> all right that was a fun one Aren't we supposed to debate somebody? All right. Whoever the fuck. What, what's their name again? Uh, Anir Tax 76. Join my Discord. Get in the right channel. Do it. Don't waste my time.